All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. So we're sitting over here in the Freedom Studios, and uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. I've been extremely busy uh, running all over the place. But man, listen, I get back. Uh, Jerry Nadler's trying to ban our beloved uh, AR-15s and anything that accepts a magazine over 10, mag <laughs> passive 10. You've got ATF showing up at people's doors going, hey, can we see how many guns you got? You bought two guns yesterday. We just need to make sure you got them. Yeah. <laughs> whatever then you got some 22 year old showing a uh, mass shooter what it's all about which is good so anyway what have i been doing uh i've been running my ass off trying to get things done so uh one of the things that we did on the last couple of videos is we're trying to put together a uh a new three gun rifle and in doing so one of the things that i wanted to do was try to bring up the light making it a little lighter we uh, got the proof research carbon fiber fiber wrap barrel one and eight twist my favorite twist rate Works perfect, in my opinion, with the Sierra Match Kings. Uh, what I found out was uh, I didn't like what was going on. So I totally revamped the whole thing. I tried to go uh, with a Lancer tube. As a matter of fact, I'll show you what this is. So this is a uh, Lancer tube. Um, it's a little long, and uh, it's designed specifically for 17, uh, 17 and a half inches. So what's happening is uh, with the Ultradyne muzzle brake, let's just back up. So we got the <laughs> standby. So we've got the carbon fiber tube, okay, uh, which is really, really nice. And I was going for lightweight, so and one of my other rifles that I had a while back, I actually had a lower already assembled with the M4E1 uh, lower receiver and with the Lancer uh, buttstock on it. So I thought, well, what a perfect combination, man. We'll go all carbon fiber. So weighed the rifle and in comparison with my previous uh three gun rifle this upper right here i found out that this lower that was accompanied to that was actually lighter than this guy uh to the tune of hold on let's see Let me show you. and this is part of the fun this is what we do and this is why we do it okay on um the carbon fiber, and this is a SIG tube actually with a rifle length buffer system in it, is uh, 2 pounds, 5.0 ounces. And this guy right here, with, and this has always been my favorite, and one of the, the deals is I'm familiar, very familiar with this thing right here. So this is uh, 2 pounds, 1.7 ounces. So uh, what is that? 3.3 3 ounce, 3 .3 ounces lighter. So the familiarity of this lower with an AR gold trigger system in it, uh, as well as the lightweight buffer system from JP, uh, I decided to go ahead and continue using this thing uh, versus trying to do this. Now, instead of going, I'm going to set that right there real easy. So instead of going with the JP buffer uh, handguard system, again, I went with the Lancer system. Uh, because, well, we're going for the carbon fiber look. We're trying to go with lightweight. And in this guy, uh, oh, CMMG, this is their new uh, charging handle, really nice. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put this guy. This is the Brownells um, Bolt Carrier Group. Now, I know who makes this for Brownells, and I can tell you right now, this is probably one of the best Bolt Carrier Groups that you could put in there for a lightweight. But you also have to have the buffer system that works with it. And then I've got the JP uh, adjustable gas block with the proof research barrel and a Lancer tube, along with the PLX uh, scope mount and the new primary arms. This is our uh, platinum. This is the, the version I did a review on with the ACSS Raptor and yardage. But the difference is this is a full carbon fiber barrel. This is a proof research stainless steel barrel, basically identical system, uh, except the, you got the little longer Ultradon system up here. But this guy, okay, is let's see here six pounds 12.7 ounces that's with the heavy barrel six pounds 12.7 ounces and this guy is five pounds seven ounces almost a full pound lighter and you can really feel the difference in the two when you just hold them side by side so I thought it'd be interesting just to uh, show you guys exactly what the hell we're doing with these things I am going to take these out today I'm not going to do a comparison, uh, but if you put this entire thing together with uh, this uh, Rainier Arms lower, and like I said, this this is the lower I've been using 
this whole rifle system, been using this for years. It really is familiar to me. Uh, so what we're gonna have to do, I'm gonna take and go out to the range today and go ahead and set it up. Man, I tell you, but it's just, when you're losing a full pound out of the uh, upper receiver, it's just, it's magical. So I'm gonna adjust the gas system uh, and uh, see how it works from there. Just run some 55 grain in there from the guys over at Callaway Ballistics. Uh, another thing that we're looking for, uh, and we'll start testing it again next week, is that Callaway Ballistics is coming out with a 77 grain. Uh, so I'm really excited about getting a couple uh, hundred rounds of that uh, and seeing how it works out with the ACSS Radical right here. But my only uh, part that I'm concerned about is the Ultradyne right here. This thing, uh, the angled back, the uh, portal is angling back so the gases are going to go into the handguard. So that's going to create maybe a little bit of a stink for me. I'm not sure. If it does, then I'm just going to bastardize the thing and I am going to cut a groove out right here so we don't get any gases that shoot back up into the handguard. may be a detriment to me. We'll find out later on today and I'll put the video out later on. So we're going to take it and lay some rounds out, see what happens and have some fun with it. So with that being said, hope you guys uh, stuck with me for as long as we have in the video. Yeah, I can't believe all the things that are going on in the world today right now. Wow. We, we guess we need to do some uh, damn news. Anyway, with that being said, if you uh, liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom comes in 5.56 five, with about a pound and a half trigger on it. It's KB32. I am out of here. Boom.